because I'm talking about the health benefits of phenolic compound. I know actually you know, some of you actually are using phenolic compound in your product development. Like some are using ginger, some are using you know, like, uh, <coughs> some actually are using like uh, a blueberry. Actually, you know, those type of food are very famous actually for high phenolic content. They have health benefit for the industry, particularly actually you know, for the functional food industry, food for health. Actually, you know, they are star compound. People think those compounds can offer you know, different health benefit. Actually, people are talking about you know, functional food, including actually you know, phenolic compound in functional food. Are the future you know, like, uh, uh, stars you know, like for the food product development? And I think. I, I think you know, like uh, people in this room are familiar with the phenolic compound because we heard news actually you know, in the past uh, talk about the uh, health benefit of phenolic compound. Like uh, like a couple of years ago, you know, people are talking about actually you know, the cancer chemo prevention by apple, and uh, we have this type of saying like uh, one day one apple, one apple a day keeps the doctor away. And uh, what kind of compound? In ample, responsible for the, uh, for the cancer chemo preventive activity, we know apple actually are a rich of different type of uh, ingredient, including actually you know, like fibers, including actually you know, like uh, micronutrients and vitamins, plus those ingredient. And apple also contain high amount of actually you know, phenolic compound. They can probably they can offer you actually you no. Know, Good anti-aging property, also antioxidant activity. So probably it can help you for the prevention of cancer. But if you really believe this kind of research, when you are eating apple, actually I give you some advice. You know, you should eat apple together with the apple skin, okay? Because the skin in the part, you know, give you high amount of phenolic compound. So what's going to be phenolic compound? Actually, I think you may know actually the chemical structure of actually you know, oil and fat, carbohydrates. Actually, if you look at the phenolic compound, it's also actually have quite a similar type of structure. It's a compound contain actually you know, at least uh, one aromatic ring. Inside the kind of ring, it contain conjugated double bond. So in those way, actually, you know, phenolic compound are quite uh, stable. But in the meantime, phenolic compound actually also substituted with actually the hydrothyl group and other type of uh, small groups and uh, like uh, methyl group, like ester group. This kind of substituting all the link of different type of ar aromatic ring can give phenolic compound variety of health benefit, including actually anti-aging, including actually for the prevention of heart disease, okay? But the structure, if you look at the structure, it's a very simple structure. And actually, you know, like the, the slide I showed you here, it just contain one aromatic ring, okay? And those type of compound, actually, you know, can be called a phenolic compound. And uh, nowadays, actually, a lot of people are talking about uh, phenolic compound, polyphenols, and all uh, phenolics. Actually, they all point up uh, to the same group of compound. But uh, at this group of compound, actually, you, know, you can divide them into different sub subgroup. Why we need to divide them actually in different subgroups? And actually, Dr. Lee mentioned actually, you know, for the Fat and oil, all right? You have saturated fat, you have unsaturated fat, you have polyunsaturated fat. For phenolic compound, because they have different structures, they are in different group. They may have different bound activity, including the beneficial activity. Some actually you know ca they can have totally different type of health benefits. I will give example like you know for the soybean or the for the soy protein. We mentioned in today's actually competition, actually it contain actually isoflavonoid, which actually one type of phytoestrogen is mainly good for women health. Okay, so different type of phenolic compound, as uh, same as actually you know, like the other type of food components, they can have different health benefit. I will give you some examples, you know, let you understand a little bit of the chemistry of phenolic compound and. Uh, 
Here example actually give you is talk about uh, one type of uh, simple phenolics. As example give you here, that's one compound we found in the white willow bark. And white willow bark actually is one type of herbal medicine. It's very famous actually for the anti-inflammatory activity. What type of compound inside the white willow bark give you health benefit? Actually, it's just one simple phenolic compound. Look at the structure. It's just one aromatic ring. And with the understanding of the health benefit of uh, salicin, we found in white willow bark, later on, we developed actually the commercial drug, uh, uh, aspirin, right? That's a very famous drug we are using in our daily life as a so-called anti-inflammatory agent. And also right now, used for the prevention of cancer, right? So it's quite a simple structure. Not me, actually, no, simple is not useful, okay? Simple can also be meaningful for our daily life, can also offer us some health benefit. So that's an example, talk about the simple type of phenolic compound we can find in our diet. And then we have more complex type of phenolic compound. If you look at the chemical structure that show you here, compared with actually the phenolic compound, we found that so-called in the white willow bark, the anthocyanin is more complex, it contains two aromatic ring. It also contain charge group that can also form the glycoside okay, with the glucose. So in those way, while in the actually they are quite common in different plant material and uh, you know and so we have different type. They can give actually different plant material including different fruits, different colors. And uh, and the meantime they are water soluble. Why they are water soluble? Because they contain charge group is also formed glycoside in the nature format. Okay. And where can we find actually no anthocyanin? Actually anthocyanin are very common in our diet. As we mentioned actually no in the in this morning's presentation, anthocyanin you can find in blueberry. Okay. The one group of beneficial compound in found in blueberry or you found in, in blueberry, actually anthocyanin. Anthocyanin have the reputation good for eye health, okay? If you have actually some pro, uh, problem with your eyesight, you may take some high anthocyanin containing food. And they are really very common actually in our diet. If you think, you know, like uh, bilberry, blueberry, are very expensive to buy. Actually, you, know, you can buy so-called red cabbage, right? Or purple yam, zhi shu. You know, it's not expensive, okay? It's quite a common type of food. Although you know the price, you know, for the uh, purple yam and the red cabbage, you know, are much cheaper than you know bilberry or blueberry, but they all contain similar type of uh, beneficial compound anthocyanin. Or you can just buy grape. Okay, grape also contain red grape also contain high amount of actually you know anthocyanin. They are mainly actually you know have antioxidant activity, good for the vision health for the eye health, good for the so-called visual purple, okay, particularly can help you to improve your vision at the dark, at the dusk, okay, so that's actually quite useful, and that has been clinical proved, so if you have some vision problem, you should try to eat some red food, okay, it probably can help you to protect your eye, again, you know, you can eat the so-called red apple peel, right, <laughs> okay, Eat so called the red grip, okay. Those can offer you this type of beneficial compound. And here I just give you examples of you know different type of uh, phenolic containing actually you no know, food, like uh, food or functional food. And actually, you know, in the healthy supplement part, that means the that means the product in the capsule tablet format can offer can also offer uh, some health benefit. If you look at the popular healthy supplement uh, supplement product in the marketplace, you will find actually really a big surprise. Among the top ten, you know, a lot of them also contain phenolic compound. Okay. Those kind of phenolic compound and uh, you know like uh, including actually some some of the product I think you are familiar with like cranberry, cranberry juice, soy Soy isoflavonoid, right? Or like uh, um, 
product very popular in Hong Kong market called uh, milk system. Good for liver protection for people you know who are alcoholic. The, al uh, the alcohol may damage actually you know, like uh, the liver. So this group of people actually are advised uh, to take uh, milk system extract for the liver protection. So in those way, I will show you actually the you know, phenolic compound are a group of compound can offer you health benefit, okay? And where we can find the phenolic compound, except this kind of so called like uh, unknown, so those kind of a family that actually you know, like herbals or herbal medicine, can we find the phenolic compound in our daily life? Actually, you can, okay? And uh, actually the fruit, as I mentioned to you before, contain the high amount of phenolic compound like the apple, like the citrus varieties, and uh, like the plums, like the small berries, strawberry, blueberry, and uh, they are very famous in the past for high phenolic compound. It's also helped to boost the, the sales of you know, the small berries in the international market. But which type of you know, like fruit can we choose if we believe the health benefit of phenolic compound in fruits? Actually, you know, usually, you know, the, the darker the fruit, the greater the phenolic content. Particularly, it's true, you know, how the truth, you know, for anthocyanin, right? The class of color compound you found in food. And also, like, uh, usually, actually, you know, the smaller the, smaller the fruit, uh, the high content of the phenolic compound. Again, this means, actually, not always mean the bigger the better, okay? If you have from the nutrition point of view, you know, actually for the s smaller fruit, probably it gives you high amount of, you know, like uh, beneficial compounds, including phenolic compound. And also, you have to change your dietary habit, okay? You have to eat the so-called the, the seed, the skin, right? And, uh, or, you know, although they taste uh, different from the real fruit, but that's a part of actually, you know, fruit can offer you high content of uh, uh, phytochemicals, including phenolic compound. You have to chew the seed, okay, to release out the phenolic compound, right? Otherwise, you know, you cannot absorb them, okay? I know it's a hard thing to do, right? Usually the seed and the skin taste, actually taste worse than the real fruit, okay? But if you believe the health benefit, probably try to change your dietary habit, right, to make the food healthy, okay. And uh, particularly in the past, the people are talking about the small berries, okay. Small, small berry for the food industry in the past uh, 10 years actually are the superstar. And uh, because uh, uh, people understand uh, uh, well about the health benefit of small fruits. Uh, and they understand actually, you know, the small berries actually contain multiple actually, you know, bioactive components, in addition to go to the phenolic compound, small fruits actually also contain polyunsaturated fatty acids, contain high amount of dietary fiber. Those actually are all the good type of ingredients for health management. Meantime, they can be easily incorporated into different type of food, like for the yogurt product, right? I'm thinking like for your product development, for your competition, you should also try to incorporate some small berries in your line of product, right? You know, so it not only give your food, uh, you know, the color, the taste, it also can add some healthy image, uh, healthy elements in your product, right? Like uh, we have those actually, you know, group of people are developing like uh, so-called the, uh, the, the, soy, the soy pudding, right? On the topping, you can add some so-called small berries, right? This kind of small berry not only give the pudding, you know, like uh, the color, look, make it look better. It also help to including the healthy ingredient inside. Okay, so make you have a better product. Actually, this really nothing new. That's the thing. Actually, the industry are doing. Okay, they are using this kind of concept. And uh, nowadays, as the industry, are developing actually you know, like uh, thousands of new products each year. Actually, most of the products is actually slightly modified. Like, you know, as I mentioned to you before, it's like uh, the addition of actually you know, the blueberry. 
inside the yogurt product, right? Then they can claim, okay, my yogurt product is uh, more healthy than other companies' product. I think uh, you can learn from them, uh, right? Doing a similar type of product. And should can include actually the healthy image in your product, okay? And uh, in the berries, you know, except other components, even for the phenolic compound, they contain multiple classes. Why I need, actually, you know, like emphasize, they contain multiple classes because different classes of phenolic compound may have different health benefits, right? With multiple classes inside, they can offer you variety of different health benefits. Okay, so in those way, the the actually you know, the bring the 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 message for you actually you know, hey this kind of small berries really good for you okay it contain all kind of ingredient inside good ingredient inside okay you should incorporate them in your own diet here just you give you some actually you know, so called scientific research data done by different research group they compare the so called the different phenolic compound in different uh, berries you will find the bilberry and the blueberry are quite high as you call in the isocyanate okay, there. So in those way, <coughs> right now, other berries are also quite popular in the marketplace, okay? And also other star compound for the food company for the uh, product development. And here, I give you another data I should talk about the intake of actually, you know, one type of phenolic compound, flavonoid from different food group. And based on the data you found, actually you will find, wow, the berries, really the top group, believe it or not, okay? And uh, it gives you the highest amount of phenolic compound. Why this happen? I, I, I actually you know, saw this actually myself. It's quite easy to understand why this happened. Because uh, for small berries, we can, it's very difficult for us to separate the skin from the real fruit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so the skin is the part, you know, with a high amount of phenolic compound, right? And for others, you know, you can easily peel the fruit and uh, throw the away with a high phenolic uh, content, okay? And, you know, for the juice, you know, definitely during the juicing process, you are losing those phenolic compounds. So the whole fruit is better than you know, the juice, okay, that had been well proved in the past, okay. But for certain group, they don't want to eat the whole fruit. Probably they can try different juice, right, also to benefit the health benefit of phenolic compound, okay. And again, that's another type of data. And actually, you know, the antioxidant activity of different plants, you will see actually for the small berries, they are the star, okay, they are the group of a high amount of phenolic compound, high amount of antioxidant activity. Then here I ask you a question. Why, you know, for this kind of uh, forest berry, they show the higher antioxidant activity than the cultivated berries? Can anyone answer the question? Why, you know, the wild type, like uh, berries, offer, you know, stronger antioxidant activity than the cultivated berries? Can you answer the question? Anyway, uh, it's mainly because the size of the berry again, uh, because for the cultivation, we're always looking for bigger, bigger, bigger size, uh, right? To to increase the production. But for the wild type, you know, you you actually you know you are the only can collect small small berries. Okay, you have higher skin to the fruit ratio. Okay, again, in this way, you know, understand that you know for the cow uh, for the forest berries. It really can offer, you know, like uh, high phenolic compound, high antioxidant activity. That's mean, you know, when we are going to the supermarket to buy berries, including blueberry, probably buy the small type, okay? Don't buy the bigger one, okay? And uh, so it can offer, you know, more health, more healthy ingredient for you, okay? And I, 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 I will try to go fast. I don't think I have a lot of time. Like, uh, for this type of product, uh, we have different uh, successful products in the marketplace, like cranberry, particularly actually uh, good for the woman health, you know. It's actually, you know, it's mainly actually you know, for the prevention of urinary tract infection. It's very popular, it's dominated by one US company, okay. 
and actually the active compound inside is actually you not know, like a cranberry, cranberry juice. But that if you have ever tried the real cranberry juice, you understand the taste is very, very bad, right? So the industry, what the industry are doing, they try to blend, you know, the cranberry juice with other type of juice, okay, like apple, like grape, to increase, you know, the sensory property, okay. Therefore, the case two is about actually bilberry. It's bilberry. It's a commercial product, and the product had goes through extensive industry process to prepare a product contain high amount of uh, polyphenol compound called anthocyanin, and it's called 25 percent anthocyanin. You already know from 100 kilogram of the fruit, you only can get. Uh, one kilogram of the extract, so it's high concentrated phenolic extract, isocyanic extract. It's a popular you know, like uh, suppl uh, supplement product in the marketplace, good for eye health. Okay, you can buy this in the marketplace. Okay, and in Hong Kong, I found uh, those type of product are very expensive. Is at least it costs you actually one bottle costs you at least actually you know four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar. I'm w I'm wondering every day why you know just eat our blueberry right buy one pack of blueberry eat a cup of blueberry every day okay probably eat hundred blueberry a day all right so you can get a similar amount of you know like uh, uh, anthocyanin from you know the bilberry okay from blueberry uh, fruit okay and we also can find actually the phenolic compound also can find in the vegetables a lot of vegetable contain. Uh, phenolic compound like onion, artichoke, like uh, celery, and uh, here at least a picture, you know, for two different type of celery. Why the our Chinese? Why the actually you know the Western celery, right? So based on what I talked before, you know, our Chinese are better, okay, because they are smaller size, okay. <laughs> so in this way, okay. <coughs> and uh, for the Western society, usually when people are talking about. Uh, the high phenol uh, content vegetable, usually people point to only, okay? Because only in the major vegetable for Western people, it contain high amount of uh, one type of phenolic compound called questin. It's good for the prevention of heart disease. That has been well studied, okay? And, uh, but not only only contain questin type of phenolic compound, you also have other type of vegetable like asparagus, okay, contain high amount of questions, okay? And uh, then, you know, again, uh, come back to actually you know, the greens, the cereals, and the uh, legumes and nuts. They also contain phenolic compound, okay? And in but in different part of actually, you know, the so-called the nuts or the, or the beans, you can find the phenolic compound. And w with the example, you the so-called actually, you know, like the, the peanut. But if you, peanut actually, which part of peanut contain high amount of phenolic compound, can you guess? It's the inner, inner red skin, okay? That's the part contain high amount of phenolic compound. Actually, it's much higher than the, so called, uh, much higher than some of the fruits, okay? So when you are eating your peanuts, okay? And probably can eat the red inner skin. The taste is okay, as for me, I will eat the Red in the skin, okay. Probably it's okay, right? After you used to the taste, it's good for you. You don't need to buy very expensive supplements. And if you actually you know, eat less amount of fruit, you know, if you like eat nuts, okay, like you know, you can get a similar type of phenolic compound from them. And uh, but for soy, I already mentioned to you, soy mainly contain isoflavonoid. It's actually one type of compound called phytoestrogen. Can have you know phytoestrogenic act anti activity. Can have anti anti cancer antioxidant activity, particularly for the prevention of cancer prevention for women. Okay, we have different type of product have are available in the marketplace. Okay. Then you know for the spice and for the herbs, uh, I bring your to I bring attention to you actually you know, this kind of spices and herbs uh, they usually contain high amount of phenolic compound because this kind of spices and herbs actually uh, they are leaves they are barks of plant material that's the part of plant 
actually offer you high amount of phenolic compound. Again, although these kind of spices like uh, ginger or curry give you phenolic compound, but you really cannot eat a lot of spice every day, okay, right? Because of the taste, okay? And so, but they are good, they have the reputation you know, for high phenolic content. And in the so called uh, supplement area, we have one product called Ignisia. It's also famous for phenolic compound. You can buy this product in Hong Kong. And uh, it's actually one product used for the immunostimulant, help you to uh, stimulate the immune system. It's very popular. It's so called a top three herbal supplement in the world. Okay. And uh, usually, actually, you know, it's you together so called with uh, another type of uh, uh, plant material called golden seal, a combination called Echinacea golden seal combination. If you have a cold, you feel very weak, you are coughing, you don't want to go to see a doctor. You can you know, go to this kind of drug store or go to even supermarket or health food store, buy this product, okay? Try it on yourself. Probably it can help you, okay? Then we come to the last category of food contain also called the high phenolic compound. We call the beverage, wine, and the juice. And I think uh, a lot of people are talking about actually the health benefit of wine, right? Red wine, one cup, of one day one cup of wine, okay? And good for your heart health, good for the cancer prevention. And right now, our Hong Kong government tried to build Hong Kong as we call the capital for Asian red wine capital, okay? It's mainly because probably our senior officer believe this, okay? Believe the wine can offer some health benefit. But in the in the but we do have strong data support wine good for heart health, okay? It's mainly because wine contain high amount of phenolic compound, okay? Uh, but we also understand why actually you not know, contain alcohol? Alcohol is bad for us. So you have to have a balance, okay, of the health and you know the bad part of wine drinking. But if you really cannot drink wine, right now outside we have so called the red wine extract with a zero percent of alcohol. Okay, you can buy this kind of a supplement used for health. Okay. Therefore, tea actually for the beverage actually tea is very famous for high phenolic content. Usually, actually, the tea leaf contain 30% of uh, polyphenol. That's uh, super high compared with other type of uh, beverage, okay? Uh, but here, I'm not talking about actually the commercial tea beverage, okay? Commercial tea beverage usually actually you know, contain quite low amount of polyphenol, okay? If you believe the health benefit of tea, green tea, black tea, you can prepare the tea at home by yourself, right? One day, a cup of tea, it's good for prevent all kind of disease, okay? And the health benefit of green tea and the black tea, even oolong tea, or like poor tea, have been proven in the past, mainly due to mainly actually due to the high uh, high content of actually you know, polyphenol compound. So polyphenol really very common ingredient you found in our daily life. That you if you drink uh, three cup of green tea a day, can offer you one hundred six six. 60 to 320 milligram of uh, polyphenol. That's very high, okay? It's not, it's not something new, it's not something of high tech. It's our common food components, okay? If you, if you believe or understand this, this health benefit, you can use actually you know, uh, for your own health management, all right? Or you can, just for your case, you can incorporate uh, polyphenol in your food product development, right? Probably can help you know, to win the competition next time, okay? When you enter the final, okay? Okay, so that actually, you know, probably that's gonna be the, <laughs> sorry, I should actually, you know, I like to recommend actually, you know, a high phenol content juice in the marketplace. That's gonna be the pomegranate. It really gives you super high amount of polyphen. If you like to drink juice, okay? That's the type of, uh, uh, juice can give you high phenolic compound. Okay, probably I try to stay to the schedule, and that's going to be the end of my presentation. Thank you. <laughs>